Our next question, Jim, is from Mark in Georgia. I just finished a Jim Ross book. Jim states that Robert Hoot Gibson had the worst smelling farts in the business. <laughs> Can you confirm or deny this? And do you have any good fart stories from the road? Are there any legendary farters in the business? Well, you know, actually, I cannot testify because when you think about it, the rock and roll Robert Gibson and I never rode in the same car. We didn't share a lot of the same locker rooms. I've smelled some professional farters in my day. So I can't say that, that hoot may have been the, uh, I've started to throw up a little in my mouth right there when I was thinking about it. <laughs> um, I can't say that hoot have been the worst, but I've got a good fart story. Cause I, in my day and think about this in, in, in Louisiana in 1984, I ate, I would say 80% of the meals that I ate in the course of a week in the car. When you think about this now, because we had to leave by shortly after noon, every day to go wherever we were going at, at, at minimum. And we didn't get back until the early hours of the morning. So I would stop and get, I'd eat like 20 chicken nuggets from McDonald's and a goddamn Big Mac and some fries for lunch where we met the, the for, for the ride to the town. And then I'd get drive through before they closed when we got out. And so 80% of my meals were, were eaten in the car from drive through restaurants or from, convenience stores there was a place on the way the only place you could get food by the time we got out of the matches in little rock arkansas 270 miles of two lane road back to our homes was at a gas station on the arkansas louisiana border where they had barbecued smoked sausage chicken and potato wedges and things along with uh, convenience store items and did i mention gas and live bait and so we would load up on the fucking barbecue one night we're driving in bobby's car and Dennis also had stopped and got him at the same store. They did sell liquor. And also, now that I think about it, firearms. So you could uh, get everything you needed at one stop. So Dennis gets a pint of whiskey, and he's sitting in the front seat. And we've got a six-hour fucking drive in the middle of the night to go. We're not going to be at, at, at home till sunup. And we get the fucking barbecue. And as Dennis is drinking and he's eating the barbecue, and I'm in the back seat, and Bobby's driving, and... Goddamn, suddenly, Dennis decides he's going to throw his leftovers out the window, you know, to so he don't spill it in the car. Well, when he does, he throws the shit, but the wind catches it, and it sprays it back on me, and I'm covered with barbecue sauce in the back seat and Bobby's white car interior that looked like I'd been sprayed with a fucking machine gun. And then, and then, you know, then you could tell Bobby it looked like baby shit, and he'd start puking. But anyway, so my diet was not the best. So one day I'm really gassy and it's me and Dennis Condry, Bobby Eaton, and I believe either Carl Fergie or Buddy Landell. And we are at a, a stop at a gas station. We're in Dennis's panel van. It looked like he should have been Roy Moore. Uh, just had no wind to just, you know, the panel, the old Ford Econoline van. And in the back seat, I goddamn let. Uh, while Dennis is filling up with gas, right? I let the most, it was one of the silent, but deadly, like noxious gas where it don't make any noise, but it's so hot. It feels liquid and you can feel when it's coming out of your fucking butt cheeks, just as it, it that it's going to turn the walls brown and it's dripping with humidity and the heat of it determines the fucking smellability factor. And this one almost burned my sphincter. And suddenly I'm in the ba very back of the van, but suddenly it hit the back row of seats. And there was, I believe it, Bobby, who of course has a, a weak stomach and, and Carl Fergie. No, it was Carl Fergie and Buddy Landell. Cause it was the van. There was five of us. So uh, Carl and fucking Bobby are in the back row of seats and it hits them instantly. And they both start fucking gagging and throw the doors open. And just when buddy turns around to go, what the hell? It hits him in the front passenger seat and he throws the door open. <laughs> and as three of them jump out gagging, that's when Dennis outside pumping the gas goes, what the fuck's a man? When they've opened the, the fucking side sliding door on the van, that's hit made him and it overpowered the gas fumes. And he starts, gagging and as i'm laughing i'm looking at the fucking car on the other side of the pumps they have just seen for no apparent reason <laughs> three grown adult men at the same time jump out of a fucking van gagging and puking and the guy that's pumping the gas starts fucking joining them so they didn't know whether something had been you know possibly germ warfare or what the fuck it was funnier when you were there 
But anyway, apparently, but it, that was the most noxious. I admitted the most noxious fart that I have ever, and I've never been able to do that again, even after eating beef stroganoff. I, my, my first wife nearly divorced me for eating the beef stroganoff at this little place in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and they've closed it since then. They probably had numerous uh, marital disputes and possibly a potential spousal homicide from the beef stroganoff that they served there. But that's as close as I've ever been able to come to the perfection that was the stinkiest fart ever emitted by a human being. Okay, well, with that, we'll move on. Our next question, Jim, is concerned. Well, you asked. You asked the goddamn question. I certainly did. I certainly did. I should have anticipated such an answer. 